We love, love hip hop. Do you guys think any of these are attributed to bot culture? Let me know in the comments. Jim um, Rogan says, bro, Drake's been the bot master since Scorpion. Y'all reaching yet again. Who's reaching? I didn't actually give my um, opinion on whether Kendrick is actually using bots or not. Okay, I've seen it floating around in these internet streets. They're saying that the boy Kenny's using bots. Let's explore. Let me go up on, uh, let me open up a YouTube page here. I think DJ Academics was covering this. Actually, I know he was. That's where I cut this information from. He was actually talking to a gentleman. Who says that he was responsible for the whole bot shit. Let me just pull up the page so y'all can see what I'm looking at. Bang. Okay. Let's do this. Kendrick Bots. <laughs> so, Academic Speaks to Dude alleging he helped fake streams for Kendrick Lamar, Not Like Us. And what else is in the title here? And got threats. Ooh. Hello? Ah. Um, um, big act in the building. Big act in the building. I'm here What's the up? I'm here in the echo. Is this what I think it is? This is like an hour. Yes, this is who you think it is. Hour 45. Okay. Dang, trust me. All right. I'm here. All right. Do I? Oh, I don't hear the echo anymore. Okay. Uh, well, first and foremost, welcome to my stream. We're about to Thank explain uh, in a second who you are, but you know, uh, by the way, I didn't set this up, chat. <laughs> this fell in my lap. Okay. Pause. But today is uh, Kendrick Lamar's 37th birthday. I want to wish him a very happy birthday. I'm one. Ooh. See, I didn't realize that it was his birthday when they were uncovering this information. Mm. The timing looks kind of weird when it comes to academics. At this point, I know academics is trying to sell the merch, the compromised merch and everything like that. He's trying to flip it into a joke, trying to lean in into it. But with such a close proximity to Drake, the way that you know he says that he talks to Drake on such a regular basis, it makes it hard to take ac academics' opinion seriously now when it comes to this whole Kendrick and Drake thing. It, I don't think he's biased. He could be a little biased. He said he's biased. However, I don't think he's using his bias to shape his opinions, right? So something like this, I believe is coincidental. I'm wondering how he's spending it. You know, he's been laying low, doing his thing. He's actually threatening text messages after I worked for a certain artist that we'll get into and uh, pretty much telling me not to say stuff. Like certain people were texting me, random numbers, just uh, a bunch of things that I didn't want. And I usually don't say anything. Like. Yeah. People know, like, I'm known. People know me. They, like, I keep my mouth quiet. I do my work, and then I'm done. I, I don't take sides. I don't pick who I work for. Mm -hmm. um, I usually get reached out to. I do the work, and then I just stay quiet. I get paid. But for some reason, they thought it would be a good idea to start, like, texting me from different numbers, just trying to get information and threaten me. So, you know. Okay. So, so the reason – so you're the fake stream guy. I know that Ak's biased. Don't get me wrong. I know Ak is biased. I see, I see the comment here. I know Ak is biased. But I don't think that he's completely letting his bias, just as somebody who's been doing media for so long, I don't think he's one of those guys who would just let his, you know, he's claimed or he's, he's mul he said multiple times, Drake's his favorite artist, Drake's his favorite artist. So definitely he's always going to be leaning on Team Drake. Like, and us over here from Toronto, people will look at me and say, yo, you're biased. Aren't you the OVO lawyer? Da, 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 da. I feel that I've had enough um, critique of Drake moves where people can see that I'm pretty objective when it comes to this shit. It didn't take me forever to say that Drake lost the battle. It took me a minute, but it didn't take me forever. Right? Yeah. Now, everybody pretty much goes to me for anything like fake streams or fake views. Okay. Now, People are going to say, how the fuck do we know this is a fake stream? Oh, guy? my God. I just started the stream. Um, bro. Could you either tell us how this works or do you have any proof of anything you've done? Um, that, that, I guess people who are watching wants, would want to verify that you're not just some person who's just making up a story. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. So what 
Is there anything you'd like me to do? Like, how how would you want me to show this? I, I mean, I don't know what the capabilities are, but I would I would like for you to explain how fake streams work, and then probably right. show us some proof that you've probably done this. Yeah. So, um, pretty much the fake streams. So there's different ways, and there's been ways in the past. And Spotify actually does end up cracking down, and they do patch it sometimes for certain artists. And they're actually involved. That's the craziest part about it. Spotify whoa. is whoa, 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 and it's wait, wait, been going what? on for a while. What do you mean Spotify yeah. is Spotify is involved? Like not so, the company of Spotify. You're talking about employees? No, like the company, company nigga. Spotify, like they do it, and it because it, it makes them look better at the end of the day. Oh, okay. So, so you believe Spotify fake streams as a company? No, I know they do. They don't personally fake them, but they let it happen, or they have deals with the labels or the artists that it lets them pass and it's usually you know them reaching out to them being like hey we pretty much know you do this but we're gonna let it slide because it helps us revenue wise and it also helps us you know make our our, our site and our program look like it's bigger than it really is mm. you know we actually had a quick we had a discussion about this right about the whole spotify and them knowing that some of their bots or some of their streams might be ai driven or bot driven in the end of the day as long as they're making money they don't even care if it's a real audience or not okay those streams will still equate to them getting their percentage and then whatever the bot getting the point zero 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 two cents or whatever that they're paying from spotify splits they do bring the most traffic in when it comes to streams or music or anything like viewership wise Okay, now I, I I gotta keep fact checking you here because and also I I had a very lucrative contract with Spotify when I did a podcast there and also yeah. us separating you know um we've 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 been very all right what I'm saying well that's what I meant for smaller artists yeah and they do reach out and they do keep track of when they reach out so hey if they something happens they could be like they could show the proof like hey we did end up reaching out to this person hey we did ask them about it hey they denied it. Hey, oh, they said they just didn't give us a statement. So they keep track of all that. Okay. And listen, don't get it twisted. And I, I don't mean to keep on stopping the video. I'm not here acting like Kendrick um, bought bots. Oh, my God. I can't believe Kendrick, a musical artist, uh, pretty much one of the top artists in the game, has bots. <gasps> Everybody got bots. Okay, don't. I'm not gonna be the one. Oh, Drake doesn't do that, but Kendrick does. No, they all do. Road to success. What up? Thanks for the donation. Um, it says Friday with the consistent Wednesday YouTube live streams. Keep up the great work. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Burrow sounds in the building, aka DJ Zar, aka DJ Pick and Choose. Damn, I wonder what percentage of the streams are real. Well, before we even continue, let's go and take a look at Kendrick's. Spotify quick fast. All right. Pow. Let's see his highest streams. First of all, he's got 73 million monthly listeners. What was Drake's before? What is freaking jailbird Justin Timberlake popping up? 77 million. Ooh. Niggas is neck and neck right now. Pause. 73. I didn't realize Kendrick was that close to Drake in um, streams. That's crazy. Um, Burrow Sounds, a.k.a. DJ Zar, wants to know, does Apple do it too? Of course. They all do it. I can't say they all do it. But to me, Spotify, Apple... Um, just those two. Those are the, the two main ones. That's like Rogers and AT and T or whatever Rogers competition is over here. I don't even think they have competition here in Canada, but that's the main shit. So you're always gonna expect some kind of foul play at the top. Let's see what he got. Not like uh, not like us has thirty uh, three hundred and fifty two million streams on it. That's relatively new. So Euphoria one hundred seventy seven million. Loki, these these numbers are not that crazy. All the stars, 
one billion six hundred and six um six hundred and forty six. Don't get me wrong. These are crazy numbers. I'm talking about in comparison to Drake. All right. I wish I had a hundred thousand streams. <laughs> All right. On my music. Uh, Money Trees got a billion. Humble did two billion. Love has one billion. Okay, so I don't know. It might be a little reaching. Let's continue this video here. It might be a little bit of a reaching violation. Okay. Um. All right. So, 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 give us an explanation. Like, like, how does the process go? So, okay. Um, a label or an artist hits me up. They say, "Hey, we're doing a a release this day. We want this many plays." And we wanted it to happen this fast. And then I would go, I'd go into my software, and then I'd put in like, I could either do it manually or I could do it automatically. It depends on how they want it or if they want it to look a certain way, if they want it to be from a different country. If the artist is from, let's say, the US, I would do US based streams. Or if they want to do it from, if they're from Nigeria, I'll do from Nigeria, France, et cetera. So it just depends on what the person wants and how they want it. And that's how I, I would execute it. Okay, so 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 explain. Or I, I'm guessing you have an interface or a software, some dashboard, or something yeah. like that. Explain the science behind it, because for a stream to count on whether it's YouTube, um, Apple Music, or even Spotify, they're gonna need a device. I'm starting a poll or gang. Count right, some registered account with the app playing yeah. the song for at least 30 seconds before they count it as a stream. So how do you pull that off? for yeah. millions of streams right so i'll i'll actually just tell you how i do it because okay. like i'm not interested in you know in doing this anymore i'm I, you know i'm trying to change it because it's and also this guy right here right i'm looking at the description here a stream botter whistleblower has come forward to admit that he bought it not like us by kendrick lamar what And he names Anthony Sella, which is Kendrick's manager. But has anybody get, gotten any more information on who this guy is? This guy could be just randomly calling into academics, even though, like, I'm sure Ak has done a little bit of homework before just, you know, he's vetted this guy before getting him on the phone. However, you never know. It's just not worth it anymore. Some people are really, really good at the okie doke. For me, as a person, like, that. You know, as an employee, as somebody who's doing this for a while, so there are many ways to do it. And one of Hold the up. ways recently you've been able to do it. So what you would do is, um, you. Yo, yo. What are you saying, brother? What are you saying? I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. What's your name? Where you from, man? My name is Saga Martin. Okay. 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 Neil. Neil. What's your thoughts? You you got any thoughts on this or or, or anything else? No, not yet. I'm listening. I'm watching it. Okay, okay, I'm, okay. This one playing. Not yet. Then, um, before I continue the video, you think Kendrick is buying streams? Yeah, sometimes. Do me a favor. Whatever you got playing in the background, you got you might have to cut whatever's in the background so I don't get copyright. All right, I did. All right, respect. You could actually set up a bunch of fake phones. Let's say Samsung devices, because device does matter, and what you're, you know, you're viewing it on, it can all be seen by Spotify. So what you would do is, um, you want premium accounts. So like free plays, free trials, those don't work. So what you would do is you would get a gift card, you would set it up to a bunch of phones, Yeesh. and phones. I mean, like you could emulate them. People can make fake phones off computers and servers and devices and computers and laptops. Mm -hmm. And you would pretty much just replay that so it looks like it's a play and you play it for at least a minute of the song or you could do the full song and you just have it going in the background thousands and thousands and thousands of times. So you can't do it all at once because obviously it wouldn't work like that or it's too much or, you know, it's just really not possible. That's why people like to do plays slowly and they do them at a certain time. At a... Let me ask you something, brother. You make music? Sure. Yeah, I stopped doing it to Twitch people. Everybody dissing everybody, right? Everybody hate on everybody. Now, with like, this music shit, right? Yeah. Would you partake in 
buffing your numbers. Are you okay mm. with that? No, no. You try you gotta earn it yourself, right? You gotta try uh, to be your own fans, right? Like Drake, like you say about Drake, Drake earning fans, right? Not necessarily. Because we're acting before he's singing, before he started singing, he was acting already, right? And then he starts singing, and you know, all the fans, the girl loved him already. The girl liked him already for a long time. Yes. However, Drake being part of the music industry, I think everybody in the music industry uses some kind of bots, paid views, something yeah. to buff up their numbers. Yeah. Right? I do, yeah, me too. I do the same thing. I, do, I agree with you there. If, all you're, all like, if you're signed to a major rappers, label, yeah. they're going to do it to you too. Yeah. They make you go higher. Right? Yeah. You don't even know yeah. that it's happening. Yeah. Yeah, but you're right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're right. You're completely right. Well, there. Yo, fam. So what? You got? You stop making music? Yeah, everybody. Like you said, everyone they hate and everybody, right? I mean, don't let that shit stop you, dog. Everybody hate everybody. I saw. I just do something else. I do animals now. You know what I mean, I stick to animals. Okay. You, you speak- yeah, I do horses, right? So I, I stick, they, they won't talk back. What do, you, what do you mean you do horses? I like ride horses. Clean that up. Clean up. <laughs> I, I, like, I, like, I like ride horses. There you go. Okay. 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 Yeah. Well, listen, man. Plug your Instagram. Let the people know where to find you, brother. Sure. Yeah. Neil Davis at Instagram. Okay. Salute All to right. you, brother. You too, bud. Thanks. Bless. Big salute to Neil Davis, man. Um, Hold on a second. Get him out of the studio here. Big salute to Neil Davis. Let's continue our video here. It's hot. You need the air conditioner over there going on, bro. It's, it's, it's hot as a mofo. Hold on. Let's continue our video. Certain rate. But yeah, what you would do, so to do the premium method is what people have been doing recently, is you would get um like a gift card or like a prepaid or something. You would sign up for a free trial with it. And then you would connect that card to multiple accounts or different cards to multiple accounts, and you would get it playing in the background. So the phones are technically on a premium trial, and they're they're actively listening to the song for more than forty five seconds, Yikes. and that would count as a play. Oh, okay. and it also depends on where they're. Ba- Yikes! Hold on, I want to see if he actually. There's a part in this video where. making money i have it's like fucking i'm like mid i've made mid seven figures like i'm touching crazy money but then again if somebody's going to come threaten my life why does money matter why do i care okay so they're saying you said he's getting threatened streamer they hit up an agency to deal with that now yeah because you yeah. haven't because i don't believe that pg lang is threatening you i'm then saying when you come on the stream, you mentioned the song, and obviously everybody knows PZ Lang and Kendrick yeah. Lamar. It appears yes, that they are threatening you, but the most likely option is that you're being threatened by people associated with the third party agency. Why then not again, name them? Because yeah. you're clearly naming Kendrick and his team. Yeah. Why not name the third party agency? That clearly wants to get you killed. Because the way I was paid was very unusual. It, let's say they did pay the okay. third party act, right? Correctly. Why was I sent the money directly? Maybe the third party said, here, send this amount to this guy. So again, I was paid directly from them. As you saw, it was mm. wasn't a third party. It wasn't an LLC who paid me, right? Have you ever the worked with this third party before? What? What? That third party company that solicited your services, get a Mac. Have you ever worked with them before? No. Okay. I haven't. I've I've had connections with them, but I've never actually ended up working with them. So it just was like one of those things where I was like, oh, first time, like, yeah, we could build. it. Axe not buying it. A good connection. We could keep doing this. Let's run it. Let's let's make money. Let's have a good connection and let's do more stuff in the future. Okay. Now now that complicates it, right? So that yeah. that gives me a little bit of cause to pause because uh, from what you sent through your bank account, like that video of, you know, whatever you logging in and, and seeing that 2,500, 
Yo. Yo, yo, what up? Just chilling. What, what are you saying? Oh, by the way, before yeah. I uh, continue, yo, road to success. Big, big salute. Big thanks for the um for the super chat right there. What's your name? Where you repping? Oh, I'm Paul I'm from Scarborough. What up? What are your thoughts? Do you think Kendrick is buying bots? Listen, everyone's doing it. All right. If you're not if you're not cheating, you're not trying. Let's be real. All right. If Drake was doing this, we would have been applauding him right now, taking every advantage possible. So why why are we harping on Kendrick? Let's be real here. So what are you saying? If this was Kendrick, somebody calling in about Drake, we wouldn't care? Yeah, listen, we give a pass to the boy. And, like, if he was taking advantage of this, trust me, everyone would have been hyping him up. Because Kendrick's doing it right now, that's why we're we're getting at him. But, but like I said, the whole industry's cooked. Every, everyone's been doing this. It's nothing new. What about independent? Do you think a lot of independent artists are buying? Um, they don't studios? have the resource. Yeah, if you don't got the resources, you can't. They, uh, it's it's a lot of studio. It's a lot of money. You don't think Lucian's on Drake's like Drake's in Lucian's pocket? Like he's he would take that advantage in a hot minute. Trust me, this is this is just a lot of cap. I I don't trust this guy who's talking to academics. He even says on the stream that Drake never does it. That's just a whole lot of cap. <laughs> I feel that even like even if you look at like. Google um Google ads. That's yeah. sort of like buying streams. Oh, yeah. But it's not. It's like it's an official way of doing it. It's a quote unquote legal way of doing it. But See, it's still, thing, it's still buffing the numbers. It's yeah. not organic. My thing is that listen, it's still it's going up in the clubs. Chris Brown is dancing to it. This shit it's 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 organic. You can't deny that. Like if if, if this shit wasn't playing in the clubs not hearing in the radio, obviously in the city, I don't know, I haven't heard in, in Toronto radio, but I know in America they're playing it up by the hour. Yeah. So that shit, that, that shit seems, I don't want to say it's fully organic. Obviously there's some, some nefarious things on the back, but it's going up. It's going up down there. I got family in Detroit and they, they've been playing it every hour and nice they, they're fucking with it. So, so yeah, I'm calling a whole lot of cap here, but like I said, everyone uses bots. It's an industry thing, and uh, it, Kendrick might not even have a say in it. People behind him is probably doing it. True, true. He might be like, "Yo, I'm just uploading my shit, just trying to get at this guy." Whatever you guys do afterwards, I don't, I don't know, and I don't care. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. But anyways, I just wanted to shout out Ricky. Do your thing. I've Thank been you actually brother. watching you since uh, the real, the real Toronto documentary. Jeez. I remember Salute. you back then. Keep keep it up, man. You're 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 the only one doing it here for Thank Toronto. You, so do it up. Thank you, brother. You want to plug anything? Any um social media? Uh, anything before you? Give you a shout out and just call. Like you gotta keep it a bean with Toronto. Like I know it's you know Drake's our boy, and you know we gotta have our have his back. But you can't be blind. You can't be blind. You gotta call a cap on, you know, certain things. So that's why I'm saying like everyone does this. Drake's part of it. The industry's cooked. If you don't think Lucian is helping Drake, you're out of you're out of your mind. Yeah, yeah. Listen, man, uh, you you spoke from the chest, bro. I I I ain't, I ain't mad at you, man. I just wanted to call in and say that. Anyways, do it then. I gotta get back to my work. I'll nice. keep listening. Salute to you, brother. Salute to him, man. Yo, he came through, spit the reel, and kept it moving. Yeah. I, Everybody's guilty. Everybody got blood on their hands. That was zelled by someone from Kendrick's team, right? So, so yeah, yes, that's what I'm saying. It was like a direct payment, and they knew what they obviously they they knew what they were paying for. I mean, it's kind of clear they they probably said, I'm gonna do a quick "Hey, Twitter we want search this. at the same time. This is what we're paying for. This how much we're gonna pay, and here here's the money. That's okay. just how I see it, and that's how it went. Maybe you see it a different way, but that's how it happened." So are are you blaming Kendrick's team, even if you don't know necessarily if it's if it's from them, for the threats on your life? Because yes. you were paid by them. Okay, so that's so that's what it is. Um, yeah, I'm not saying it's I'm not I'm not gonna sit here and say yes, it was them. Go get them. Okay. I'm saying hey. So they're... this guy, I guess, is alleging, allegedly, that now that the, that these guys are threatening him. See, this is why I might have to call a cap on this, too. Let me see what the poll is saying over here. I started a poll asking, is Kendrick Lamar buying fake streams? 62% says yes. 38% says no. 
Um, I think I want to change this question. I'm going to change this question for real. All right, let's stop this poll here. Um, 50%, 57% now is saying yes, and 43% is saying no. Let's change this. Let's be a more, let's spread this and be more objective. Does every, okay, let me, let me word this right. Is everybody buying streams? All right. Because if Kendrick's buying streams for the little amount of streams that I'm seeing, what I showed you all before on Spotify, was it really worth it? Like, Drake still got more streams than this nigga. So does it really matter? And big salute to Road to Success once again with the uh, with the donation. Y'all, y'all can do the same. There's definitely a donations part. are you appreciated. Can see, you know, you see like, oh uh, yeah, you. I could see how that would be an issue. All right, all right so, so let me ask you this question. Now you, you sent me the video, right? Yeah. Why not just say the nigga who sent you the money? Like it's clear you're not gonna you're not gonna work with this guy anymore. Like you, the, yeah. The thing is, they do know who I am, and it's just more for my safety. Mm. But you said your safety is coming on the stream and, and making us loud. Say the nigga's yeah. name. If any, if 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 you trip, call the, the ball, name. Don't get that nigga locked up. I mean that is true, but I just say I don't the know, name. I'm really uncomfortable. That's just how I feel, and it's not because like I want to ruin their name. I want to bash their reputation, but I just. Uh, that's just how I feel. We want action, bro. What's the and name? And it's more like I'm making it public because, like, it was more just for my safety, and it wasn't me trying to expose these guys. It was more because, like, now I want them to know, like, oh, like this guy, he can say something. It's out there. Brother, but I'd also brother, don't want to ruin brother, brother. a relationship with that person or the people around. See, now, now you now you tested Axe patience. Mine too. Hey, you make why, your money. I get it, but why do this thing? This, this is why I do it, right? Like, if, if you're only caring for your safety, if you're trying to be safe by coming on the stream, the only way to be safe is say, yo, that guy right there, like when Meat Mill said he was going to come to my house, I had to make it abundantly clear, hey, you heard what Meat Mill said, anything happened to me, it's Meek Mill, Robert Rameek Williams, lock him up for life. That's how you get yeah. out when people... Honest, honestly, bro, I mean, like, you are right. And then again, fu I mean, fuck it, bro. It's like, at this point, like, I'm fried either way, right? Fuck it. Talk the name. What? I mean, uh, do, do, do I mean, do, let's just not show the screenshot. I'm, I'm, not, can, show, I'm not showing it, I got it. it. It's just because, then again, if you show that, it's like, it always... Bro, you're pissing me off, man. Just give us the name. Come back to me, and then again, like, you know, I have... A certain amount of money that I just Earth, what up? For my age, the amount of money I have is like kind of sickening. I don't want to risk that and then me end up getting robbed or me end up getting shot by somebody else who isn't. I'm not trying to post your bank it. account, brother. Just but speak your truth. All right, fuck it, bro. It's Anthony Soleil. I'm I'm a crap. Let's go. I'm crashing out because like this is for my safety. This is how I feel. That's who paid me. Not saying I was in direct contact with him. That's just the name that was on the account that I got paid by. And that's how I feel. And <laughs> Yo, y'all think this guy's capping? Let me know. Put a cap in the comments if y'all think this guy's capping. All right. If you don't think he's capping, then I don't know. I don't know. Put a Drake face or something. I don't know. <laughs> and I'm scared, obviously. Bro, I'm not of age. I'm, you know, I'm young. I'm underage. I can't do certain th things. I'm scared of people. Bro, I do online shit. I'm not a shooter. I quit I'm, for pictures. <laughs> I'm not a hitter. I got reached out to by people. I did this, and this is what happened. Here's what's stupid about this. He's acting like, I can't snitch. I can't say nothing. Oh, my God. I can't say nothing. Bro, you're not a gangster. You're not a street nigga. Talk the things, bro. Let me hear who made you do what. Who paid you. And this is my safety net now i don't want to die obviously bro i mean i'm just how i feel and this is what i had to say this guy is on a live stream there was probably at the time because it was a late stream there was probably 
a good four or five thousand people in there watching the shit from different platforms, maybe a little bit more. <sighs> Bro, from the time we're an hour in, you're not you're not telling me that the people don't have any type of voice recognition to know, oh my god, the guy's talking. And it's it's stupid as fuck because from the first five minutes of the stream, they were like, okay. The cat's out the bag. This guy's talking. If if he's not capping. Obviously, I want to keep making money. I have it's like fucking I'm like mid I've made mid seven figures. Like I'm touching crazy money. But then again, if somebody's going to come threaten my life, why does money matter? Why do I care? I agree. Why, like what? What? what is that? What is that? Ten million dollars going to do to me? What is that? Is that going to save me? No, it's going to buy me a fucking trip to Turks. And what am I going to do with that? Nothing, bro. If you got all this money. You should be able to protect yourself too. In it, they didn't. I mean, bro, yeah, fuck him. He's a bitch. But then again, he they You're didn't really pay me. He saw the payment. Stream, That's the only reason why he but maybe maybe they lied to him. Then again, maybe they told him or told whoever this is how much you need to pay. No, no, no. <laughs> this happens all the time. And by the way, I'm I'm not even gonna indict. Um, 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 um by the way, this is Kendrick's manager, by the way. I'm not gonna indict him off a of Zell payment. This happens um, very frequently. Yeah. They probably be like, yo. Yo, we did some shit. Uh, we're 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 doing some marketing, blah 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 blah. Yo, we're it could have been like I, I heard that they, they were taking clips from my Instagram and paying to post on blogs. M maybe somebody yeah, who thought they were clever. Thing. Yeah, maybe somebody thought they were clever. Like, oh shit, yo, we need to hit these people off with this amount. Yo, could you sell twenty five hundred to this? And he just did it. Like, you know what I mean? He See, could be all innocent, all above the board. It's also a tax write-off as well, Act. Uh, a lot of companies, especially music companies, they use digital marketing as a tax write-off. Mm. No, no, you're right. Then no, again, that's why everybody no, does it. So it, it, it's, it's always going to go towards um, the expenses when, 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 when you're trying to do a profit. Okay, so I think we got enough here. He's proven how we can do it. Oh, let me see this. Right here. All right, just got it. Oh, okay. okay. Here's where he's going to show how he could make a page. He makes a page shake, all right? He could take a page from a certain amount of followers and boost them up in no time, all right? Now, this right here, this is not just Kendrick. I've seen this happen in Toronto with a lot of pages. This is just an expose via Kendrick Lamar or what people are alleging Kendrick Lamar is doing, which I think everybody's doing. And this shows that it's happening on all levels, in my opinion. Watch this. Chat, should I use this or make a fake account? Because I don't like fake followers on my shit. Fake followers just fake followers is like a BBL. Yo, you know I hate yeah. BBLs already. I don't like fake followers. Could you remove them afterwards or no? Do you guys want to go through Toronto accounts that I think have fake followers after this? Because we could do that. We could really go there. We could take it. We could take it there. Share the video, hit the like button, and we can go through some Toronto accounts who I think got fake account, fake fake followers. I'm down. I mean, I could, but if you want to do like a Z, uh, an account with zero, you could see how fast it goes up. But we could do that one. I say if if you have that one ready, you're already logged into it. Let's just do it. Wait, hold on, hold on. Let, but, let me see if I can just use another account because I don't like fucking with. Yo, I yo, agree. My, yo, my real accounts, I like looking and seeing that it's let real me see people something. there. I just I like the fake followers. It's, just... it's gonna mess with your um, analytics and everything. So I, I, I do suggest and we'll, we'll go through some account. Toronto accounts. Let's we'll start at twenty. Um, okay, 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 okay. All right, let, let me let me make an account. Let me make an account. Chat. I'm making an Instagram account right now. Okay. All right. That in my let's get to twenty likes to start this, and then in my opinion, we'll go to some accounts that, in my opinion, I think bought fake bots. By the way, you could do this with like a song as well. Yeah, and the thing about That's Spotify, like they're really good Wait. at what they do, like hiding it. So what they do is they have it, so it only updates every seven days. <laughs> Dude, they know what they're doing. What do you mean? It's kind of crazy. Mean? What do you mean it only updates every seven days? Spotify views on the artist panel only update every seven days. Like total, that's how long it takes for them to get of like a, put the viewer count up there and change the actual viewers for the song. It's about seven days. Okay. 
Yeah, like, if I wanted to, I'm not saying I will because this is fucked up. I'm saying, like, if a streamer's live right now, I could bot their viewers. I can make it go up. I can make it go down. I, I could... Same thing I, I've been... You know, I used to do for a couple streamers on certain platforms that I don't want to name because I was told, like, probably not a good idea, but, you know. Big salute to Road to Success. Thanks for the donation. Yeah, and, and, and for HGT, Spotify, it's, like, it's, not a, it's not a ticker that updates. It's like people are, like, are listening, you know what I mean? So that's why they give it a certain amount of days to update. Watch this. Let me see. All right. This is a I'm mud like, thing. I have to make... So Axe gonna make himself an Instagram account so that he can uh I might make it a new Google see how this dude does his thing. I can't see it, right? Oh perfect. Okay, good. All right, good. I made a new account. Let me I'm making this new Instagram thing. Okay. And then um okay, here we go. Um Jesus Christ, bro. Get to it. Let's fast forward this, man. In our, in our little chat. Okay. Um, Big Act Stream. So he just made a new account called Big Act Stream. So if you see that account out there, they got a bunch of bots on it. Right here. All right. Just got it. Big Act Stream. You see this right here on the screen? Right before y'all follow it, y'all are weird. <laughs> y'all are weird as shit. Those are bots These that are follow organic. him. See, we got 14 organic followers already. We busting. We kind of lit. We kind of lit. Those are bots, Act. Stop this. Okay, chat. We kind of turned. We turned. I think Instagram has their own. Right? Hold on. So these, these are real. No. I, 30. Instagram has their own bots system as well. Don't get that twisted. All right. Nine more likes and we go to Toronto and see what Wag won. Yeah, no, you're, yeah, you're popping, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Big Axe stream. We going Watch up this. right now. We going up right now. I got 47. She, I'm lit. I told niggas I'm lit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We got 70. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Tell me when you're about to start. Oh, we got 158. Right. We turned. You ain't started, right? Uh, I did start it. I literally <laughs> just put it in like that soon as you start saying that. Right. Nah, nigga. The bots are already in. The first 33 people that were already on that, those were bots before even dude even connected the system. Oh, it should start coming soon. Oh, hell no. Watch this. Bong. 346. Look at your notifications. Look at the accounts. Notifications. Let's see what's up. Zimmerman. Yeah, th that nigga's not watching me. <laughs> nigga named Zimmerman is not watching. Oh, this is a real person. I think. Oh, is it? I don't know. Some of the accounts are made to look real, but they're actually not. Those are all fake accounts, just by the way. That's crazy. Watch the refresh. Those, Six those, the ones with the girls. Those. Holy. <sighs> Dirty. They're all fake accounts made by me and my bot to make it look like a real follower for somebody. Dotty. Madeline Stowe? Yeah, she doesn't know you. Dotty, yeah. Oh, these are fake. Oh. Uh, let me see. Nine it's a dirty four. game oh, out there, gang. Is. Okay. Yo, chat. I, I, I think y'all believe me. Like, I've never ever bought a fake follower ever. I don't know if I believe that. Let me see this. I feel like somebody's making barbecue. Instagram. Let me see if this still works. Sticks, sticks. I'm looking for something here, and I'll just show you guys what I have on the screen. I'm looking for something here that I used once upon a time for a short space of time, years ago. But I don't think it exists anymore. All right, just uh, 
Let's call this Instagram followers. Hmm. Let's try this following system. Yeah, they got rid of it. There was a program once upon a time that would um, actually get you real followers. But since then, Instagram doesn't allow third party um, third party systems or third party apps on their app, obviously. Hootsuite, like something like Hootsuite, you're not allowed to use anymore. So I'll show you Hootsuite. And for y'all who are already in the know of this type of shit, y'all should know what Hootsuite is. Hootsuite, get all this cookie shit out the way, man. Hootsuite is something that you would use to basically do all your posting for you. All right. Um, holler at me behind the scenes agb we'll we'll see what i can do um if i'm back at the crib by by now hootsuite got um you can use it for twitter let me see five simple sites for instagram okay let's see here if you want to be more effective with your social media clear plan Let me see. I think they've modified it now where it just gives you all of this information before. All right, you could optimize your Instagram bio and profile. So there's programs that are out there for this type of shit. Um, let's do this. Instagram bot follower. Look at this right away. Kenji, the best Instagram bot. Boost your follows and likes. And I'm not going to put my Instagram address in here and mash up the thing. Let's see. <laughs> no, no, no. Um... Find your audience with Kenji. You'll be able to reach your ideal fan base and be seen and heard. Get this out of here. Boost engagement rate. Get more comments and likes from real followers every time you publish a new post on Instagram. By increasing your followers with Kenji, you will also get more story views. Okay. Y'all down for this? I want to see what the prices are. It's just, I feel like you have to log in a little bit more to, oh, there we go. Here are the prices. Digital Influencer, $69. Cyber Social Pro. Okay. Hold on. Y'all don't even see what I'm seeing on the screen. My bad. My bad. Cyber Social Pro. Okay, if you want to be a cyber social pro, just cough up $119. AI master. Okay, let's see what the what this includes. Okay, and just for y'all who didn't see what I was showing y'all before. This is the best Instagram bot. I'm not putting my email address in here because and listen. These places, they'll try to get you with all of these different companies that are involved or quote-unquote involved with them. And mind you, this is just the first search that I put in here. <clears throat> it's an easy, quick search. All right. If you're looking for a safe way to put Instagram growth on autopilot, Kenji is the smartest Instagram bot around. So this is the Instagram bot. 
This is not Instagram bots. It's not getting you bots. It's just, it's like having a robot doing the work for you. Follow and unfollow. This is kind of what I was using at one point back in 2017 when I was still just on the rap shit. Oh, yeah. So the one way to grow any Instagram account, follow and unfollow automation is done in a batch to maximize performance and speed, getting you Instagram followers faster than before. And then the whitelist and an auto blacklist. While Kenji follows and unfollows users, some may become your number one fan. Kenji offers whitelist abilities to make sure that anyone's activities in, um, actively engages with your account can be whitelisted, meaning you won't unfollow them. So let me explain. All right. This is basically a system that you can set it to certain amounts of followers. So they probably have three different tiers, like 3,000, 4,000, or 5,000, 7,000. You set it to 7,000 followers, and then the system just starts following people. And also, you put different criterias, three different criterias. This is just information that I have based on the system that I've seen before, but I'm sure that this does the same thing. You put hashtags, and the hashtags could be, you need to make the hashtag specific to the type of people that you're looking to follow. You can put in locations. And when I'm talking about locations, I'm talking about down to the exact room in a, a, on a college campus type shit, like uh, the student lounge area or the medical center or the food court at um, Scarborough Town Center that type shit. You can get very specific with the locations. I'm giving you guys some behind the velvet curtain game. Then last but not least, usernames. A list of a bunch of different usernames. And they probably have a max of 100 that you can put for each category. So 100 hashtags, 100 usernames, and 100 locations. Now, the system, once you have, it has all that information to go and run with, and I'm talking about this right here on the screen that I'm looking at. This is the beyond expectations, the follow and unfollow feature that they have here. Because this does, this site, Kenji, that I just randomly pulled up, I don't have any endorsement. I'm not even trying to endorse any shit like this. You're not supposed to, I'm not, I don't want to kick their back in either because they're trying to make their money, but. This is unorganic growth, okay? Keep this in mind. Now, once you have all those three criterias in there, the locations, the hashtags, and the usernames, this system will start looking for people and start following them up to 7,000. So it starts following 7,000 people and you see your Instagram just go, your Instagram following go crazy. Now, the goal is for those people to follow back. And it does this for a certain amount of time. Let's say it takes about three days to get up to 7,000 followers. Once it hits the 7,000 mark, it starts unfollowing those 7,000 people. Now, in that process, some of those people are going to follow you back. So if you start seeing some of those people follow you, they stay very engaged with you. Oh, by the way, they also set up automated messages so that those people who do follow you back, they get an automated message that you can custom design to sound like it's in your own words. I'm giving you game of shit that really happens. All right. Now they get a custom made message from you or quote unquote custom made message from you. Saying, yo, thanks for the follow, yo. Um, while Guan, you could put it in any type of slang that you want. And now that person's like, wow, I'm engaged. As long as you keep on providing them good content on the page, they stay followed, even though you unfollowed them. And if you want to make sure that um, to keep them on the list, you put them on the white list. And then you have the black list for people who you don't want the system to follow. You could also set up different criterias. 
and I'm not talking about this system specifically. I'm just speculating that this system probably did the same thing as the system that I used before. Okay. Now I'm giving you full transparency because in my Friday Ricky Dread page, when it was, I'm sitting on like 24,000 now. Okay. And I would say like 95% of that is organic, even probably a hundred percent of it at this point. But before 2017, between 2016 and 2017, I used the system, a couple of different systems, and it did exactly what I explained right there, okay? You could also, in these systems, set up only follow men, follow women, or everyone, only follow people who have accounts that have um, a display picture or whatever, an Abbey. There's different things that you can check off to make sure that you know you're not just following some random pages and then the followers that this page will start following are actually real followers don't get that twisted so i use that from 2016 let's say to mid 2017 and it took my account from around 7000 to a little i had over 7000 at the time i used it until i got to about 10000 and then i took it off took it off the page as far as the We Love Hip Hop page, that's all 100% organic. I didn't, um, Instagram, like I said earlier, doesn't allow or doesn't like third-party apps. So if you try to do any of these different things to your Instagram account, you can risk getting your account taken down. All right? I'm telling you this, but a lot of niggas won't be willing to tell you that they bought some um, or inorganic followers. I won't say fake followers because, like I said, these were real people that were following all right, like I have proof. Like <laughs> I've actually like real proof. Okay, I won't I won't get into that much details, but real proof. So like I've met the people in person. I'll just say that. Some of these people, okay, that came through that system. So these these different things do happen. Um quick fast. If y'all want me to explore some of Toronto pages that I feel, in my opinion, just in my opinion, and I'm not talking about blog pages. I'm just talking about artists, blogs, anything, right? That I maybe buff the numbers slightly. Let's get this up to 20 likes, and then, and then I'll, I'll get real nasty. Pause. We'll go into the mud. Um, but like I said, these systems do exist, right? Look at this. Auto blacklist. Accounts that look strange or simply not engaged with you, um, with Kenji, automatically applies a blacklist of over 10,000 bad keywords to make sure your account only engages with the right people. So if y'all think that people are out here doing everything organically, you have the game very twisted up, my friend. You're living with rose-colored glasses, my friend. They all on steroids. Okay? I don't think we have to worry about just Kendrick Lamar and stuff like that. Everybody's on the roids, on the musical roids. Let me see what y'all saying in the, in, the, in the poll here before we get off of this topic, because, shit, I've been talking about this for an hour. Um, is everybody buying streams? 68% says yes, and 32% says no, and y'all 32%, you just, you're just trying to be contrarians. I understand. I understand. Your favorite rapper by streams. It's okay. Let me just go to my topic list here. Okay. We love hip hop.